So again, here's what we've got for our vector quad. So channel uh, 3 is our elevator, channel 7 is our servo. When channel 3 is at 100%, when SD is in the up position, the servo is at 0, which gives you flight controller only. When the SD is in the center, you've got channel 3 is 30%, servo 100%, so you've got the flight controller and tilt. And when the SD is in the lower position, you've got channel 3 is 0 and your servo is 100% so you've got the tilt only. So I hope all that makes sense. Okay Sam we're having a look at our vector tilt and if you refer to the email it's pretty standard. Um, what we've got here set up in our model if we go across for the vector now you'll notice here that in flight control modes if you have a look at that how that is set up what that actually does for you, as you can see here, it's got flight controller. Flight controller and tilt. Flight controller and tilt. Tilt rotor only. Tilt rotor only. So that just puts flight it on. Flight controller only. That just puts it on the screen for you. So again, if we go across, that's your flight modes, how you get it up on your screen. You'll notice on the inputs there's nothing there. So we go down to the mixer. So if you go down to the mixer, now my uh, elevator is set up on channel 3 and as I said in my email, if you want to add or how you add these is you just go in and press enter, you get this menu you go down and you can either insert before or after, so we'll insert one after and that's what the screen comes up as. If you exit out of that, you'll notice now that we've got one two, three and a new one. Okay, so we'll go up and we'll delete that guy. So now we're back to where we started from. So you'll see here I've got channel three. There's my four original channels. My throttle, my uh, aileron, my elevator and of course my rudder on channel four. So all I did was went to there, added those two other levels and I've put them over here on this switch which is my SD Flight switch. Flight controller and tilt. So you can see there that I've got in the middle position. Tilt rotor only. Lower position. Flight controller and tilt. Middle. Flight controller only. Back up. And you can see there, as I said in that email, that's 100% of the flight control board or the elevator. Flight controller and tilt. That's 30%. Tilt rotor only. And that's nothing. So if I go back to the main screen and I pull this page up, you'll see here. Flight control only. For my pitch, I've got 100% control. Right, so that's just me moving the stick up and down. If I go. The Flight controller and tilt. There I've got 30%, but you can see channel 7's come in. And if I go. Tilt rotor only. There. I've got nothing on channel 3 and 100% on 7. So we'll go back to our page and I'll show you how you actually set up your mixing in there. So if I go into that and I edit that, all I've said there is pitch. My source is the elevator, which is the source, which is the stick. The weight, now that's your percentage. So the weight means 100% is, or 100 weight is 100%, 10% would be 10 okay and then of course here is where you allocate it to a switch fairly easy to allocate it to a switch just highlight it hit enter it'll start flashing and then all you do is go move flight that. controller and tilt move that flight control only flight controller and tilt tilt rotor only flight move. control only move that switch around to where you want it and then press exit and that's how you program it on your Tyrannus so we'll get out of that now so hopefully that's understandable. Now we come down to channel 7. So channel 7 in here for me is, as I said before, um, 0, which is 0% of my servo. That's 100% servo, 100% servo. So let's get into the mixing of that. So we go in here and we say no tilt. The source here is the elevator stick. And of course the easiest way to do that is just to press the button and then do the 
move the stick around. If I move that way around, I'd the opposite, going from side to side, I get elevator. But if I go up and down, I get the elevator. So that's all you do and press exit. Then you come down here and you want the weight. Now the weight, this is the flight controller only, so we don't want the servo, so the weight will be zero. And then we've got to put it on our switch, which is the same switch that we had for channel three. So that's the SD up. Okay, so we get out of there. We then we then make a new um, you know, insert below, and we've got this guy. So we hit that, and we've got now got the tilt and the flight controller. So it's still, oops, it's still the elevator is the source or the stick. Now it's because it's the servo. It's a hundred percent of the servo that we're using, and we're on that switch in the middle position. And then we come out of that, and then we've got the final one, which is. Uh, the tilt only so we've got the elevator again which is the source the weight of the servo is still a hundred percent and of course we're in the off position okay so if you want to change that number all you need to do is go in there to edit go down to the number press enter and then just with your plus or minus buttons plus will go up minus will go down and that'll adjust your percentage now I've got mine set for thirty percent so that's basically how you do it. Now what I've done, just to explain one more thing to try and not to confuse the issue here, if you come over to this page and keep going across to your special functions, you can see in here you can set up a special function. So you can see I've got the SF switch, which is my switch for arming here that, say, that says engine off and take off. So at the moment that's highlighted, so it's engine off. Take off. Take off, that's armed. Engine off. And that's disarmed. Okay, if I come down to the B switch, which is I've got horizon, air mode, and acro. Air mode. Air mode. Acro mode on. Acro mode. Air mode. Air mode. Horizon mode. Horizon mode. Then if I come down to the part where I've got my D switch, I've got FC only, which is flight controller only. Flight controller and tilt. Got flight controller and tilt, which is lit up. Tilt rotor only. Tilt rotor only. Flight controller and tilt. Flight controller only. And you can see I've got my RSSI play the value here on my um, and number seven on my G. Zero BB. And that's G just play every four seconds. Zero BB. And that's turned off. So when I fly, I arm. Take off. I then zero BB hit that away. I fly air mode. I know zero BB. I know I'm in air mode, so that's going to come up every four seconds. Zero BB. So that tells me that I'm not going to fly away and fly out of range. Zero BB horizon mode. That's when I come in to land. I go back into self leveling mode. Turn that off so it doesn't annoy you. And that's basically what you've got. I think this one here is uh, just a novelty one. Oh, do that again. That doesn't do anything, that just impresses the people at the park, makes it sound like you're rubbing up your radio. So that's how my Tyrannus is set up, so that's my vector and if you want to know how you get the, the voice commands, there's plenty of YouTube videos that you go on there with um, Archipelago and you program in, type in what you want to say and then save it and then put it on your Tyrannus and that's how I get these. So if you, just as a side issue, if you go over to your um, to your special functions, if you want to allocate a special function there, so you go, now number 11, you just press enter, and it comes over here. Now you press enter again, and, and it says what switch you want to use. So we'll use, what switch aren't I using? I'll use this switch, so I'll use the SC switch. And I can, as long as it's flashing, I can move that to any position. But when I press the exit, it'll stay in that position that I want. So I want it in the in the down position, right? So now it's now I can move it around and it's locked. I press the um, the minus to come over here, and I can do things. So I press enter again, and I can go trainer switch, um, instrument trim. I can reset my timer here by doing that. I can have, I can set timers. Um, I can adjust global variables, volume. 
I can play a sound or I can play a track. So let's play a track. So I press enter and it says and it's now fixed in there. I hit the minus again and I come over here, I press enter and it gives me all these ranges that are set up on that little SD card in your in your Tyrannus and I can play whatever I want. So there's one that I've put in called air mode. Um, so there's my flight controller only, flight controller tilt, flaps down, flaps up, flight mode one, two, three. You can adjust all these. Um, flight mode fast, so if we put flight mode fast in there, okay, and then we can, again, we can press, I'll just put that in view there, again, we can press the minus, come over here, and that'll, if I do that, times one, I can have one second, two seconds, so three seconds, so let's go every five seconds. So let's say we want to fly around and we want that flight mode fast to read out every five seconds. Press exit, come out now, come back out. So we go to our switch. And flight mode fast. One, two, three, four, five. Flight mode fast. One, two, three, four, five. Flight mode fast. Turn it off. And that's how you set up your Tyrannus to do things for you. Engine off. That, um, and here it shows you what buttons you're using. But that's how you set up your Tyrannus, or how I set up my Tyrannus, so that I can, when I've got my goggles on, I can flip switches to, and it actually tells me what it's actually doing. But there's lots of videos on YouTube about it. I know it's getting a bit off the subject for you. But basically that's how I set up my Tyrannus for the for the vector tilt.